Yes. Pathetic. Gamer. Smash? I actually smashed it on the floor. That's what I was supposed to do. What the? What the hell? There's a human heart inside. Oh, thank God. It's just metal. It looks like it could be a doorknob. Who in their right mind would make a door handle shaped like a human heart? Why would anyone create a door handle in the shape of a human heart? I, now I want one of those. That'd be so cool to make people like, what the fuck? It feels cold. Well, it's pretty obvious what we're supposed to do with this. I'm just going to go and do it. Let's take a closer look at this. Take the heart and put it in. There you go. There's your heart, madam. That's grotesque. Here goes nothing. Here we go. Let's see what it says here. Oh, not. Now we're in another new location. I guess this is the hotel room. Let's look around some. What could that be? A message from Ashana? Not clicking that. A glass of wine for one. Huh. Kind of lonely to be drinking all by yourself. A vase of flowers. Wait, they're fake ones. They look real enough to me. Where the hell am I this time? Nice black and white photos of a street in some town somewhere. It's Hotel Stationery. The letter hand says, Hotel Court Royale. I've been there before. It cost a bomb. And to be honest, it doesn't look worth it. If this suite is anything to judge by. Where the hell are you? Uh, yeah, let's go take a look at some stuff first. Nothing in the wine? Not right now, thanks. How about the papers here? Nothing to do here. I don't need that photo. I've got photos enough already. Nothing to do here. How about you talk to some things? Not likely. I'm not that far gone. Yet. I'm not that... Yep. Talk to the flowers? No way. Why is that in the middle of the screen? Anyways, I guess we'll take the letter. We have a journal entry to read first, though, with the hotel room. Hotel room. I don't care if the truth hurts. I was straight up honest with her. And now it looks like she's brought me to her room. Well, if she thinks it's time to kiss and make up, she's in for a nasty surprise. What? Let's take a look at the envelope. Who left this envelope on the wall? There are four photographs in the envelope. The first one shows a dress. The second photo shows a lipstick on a drawer somewhere. The third photo shows a hairbrush. The fourth photo shows a sequined evening bag. Okay. Okay. So I guess we're going this way. Here we go. We have everything here. Take a let's take a look around first. Tea set, fine bone china, made in China. I might have guessed. Wow, this is some posh hotel room. Strangely feminine, but posh. Wow, this is, yeah, I already said that. The vanity holds a variety of beauty products that I'm pretty sure are not standard hotel supplies. She was wearing that dress. A hairbrush. Wow, that is some posh hotel. Yeah, we already said that. And there's more to see, too. And I see the handbag that I need, so I think I have an idea of what I need to do here. A black and white photo of a bridge somewhere. How exciting. A small evening bag covered in gold sequins. It looks familiar. I should know I was carrying it that night. Something's weird about this hotel room. I have a feeling something's off about this place. What am I saying? I'm exploring someone's memories here in places that can't possibly be real, and I'm complaining about this room's being strange. There's a stack of magazines here. They're all from a year ago. An early model plasma TV set. It looks pretty expensive. Okay, let's see if we can grab anything that is not what I need yet. If I'm beginning to get goosebumps. I don't have any need for those magazines. Huh, figures that thing doesn't work. I wouldn't take that if you got paid me to. I began to get... Yeah, he's starting to creep down as I see. Talk to things? They won't listen to me. I found holding debates with fashion magazines to be really one-sided conversations. If you believe I'm going to talk to that, I've got a bridge to sell you. It's a nice bag, but not so nice that I feel inclined to talk to it. 
Seriously, if this keeps up, I'm going to start talking to myself. Okay. Here we go. Let's talk to some other things. No. It's a hairbrush. What can I say to it? No way, no how. Mirror, mirror on the... Oh, forget it. Not talking to teapots or teacups either. No way. Yeah, anyways, uh, here we go. Let's do what we need to do. The first photo was of a dress. What do you think, Meg? It's beautiful, Ashana. You always look good in red. You're biased, but that's okay. Do you think Martin will like it? Ashana? Are you sure about Martin? I'm positive, Meg. Okay. Next up in my photos would be... Let's do a look -sees here. Pretty sure it was a lipstick, but... Yep, lipstick's next. And then the hairbrush, then the bag. Got it. Let's do this thing. Lipstick? I'm still pretty doubtful. Remember that artist guy you were telling me about the other time? Oh, don't remind me. I behaved badly, but he was a narcissistic pig. Martin is different. You would understand if you met him. He's not like other men. He really cares. I'm sure he does, but... What does he really care about? I just don't want you to get hurt again. You do have quite a temper, you know. Oh, I know. Are you afraid that I'll start breaking things again? I promise I won't do anything like that this time. Anyway, this is different. You'll see. I've been alone for so long. Tonight means a lot to me, Meg. You have us, you know that. So many people love you, your friends, colleagues. You don't understand. That's attention. I've had attention all my life. I've had enough of it. I want someone to be there, someone I can love, someone who loves me. Without that, life is not worth living. Life is always worth living, Nishana. I gotta go. Martin's waiting. I promise nothing will happen, Meg. He's the most wonderful man in the world. He loves me for who I am. For your sake, I hope so. The door's unlocked. Okay. Onward to story adventuring. What's in here first? Fire escape plan and managers to keep your valuables safe. A light switch. That's a huge closet. Let's talk to them first. Nothing to say? Nope. Talk to who? Yelling for help is not likely to do me any good at this point. Jesus! Who the hell would leave this in the hotel closet? Are you mad? How do we want to look at it? It's. I'm not touching that thing. the light switch. That's strange. It doesn't seem to do anything. Nobody ever reads this stuff. Why should I take it?
acting so get prepared everyone there you are I wonder where you had disappeared to well you found me some party huh the bear guys really know how to throw a bash mm-hmm do I detect a lack of enthusiasm for your biggest client yet no it's not that what is it then nothing much come on you can tell me forget it that voice doesn't make it serious. I'm sorry for that. Is it about us? I said forget it. I've been thinking about us, too. My contract with you ends tomorrow. And, you know, I've been thinking. I'm tired of this life. I want to start anew. Martin, I want to quit modeling and be with you. What? I've made up my mind. I want to quit this life... I hate. I've seen a better life, and it's with you, Martin. Don't you think it might have been a good idea to ask me first? Why, but I thought... Did you? Look at you. Uh, look at your hotel suit, Ashana. All expense paid. Where would you live if you quit? I've stayed the night in your studio a few times. I thought I could do that again. My studio's not a motel room. I... I could work... I could be a waitress, cleaner, anything, rent a room. You, a waitress, don't make me laugh. You'd be tired of that in less than a month. You'll be begging to come back to modeling in your expensive lifestyle. No! You don't know what the modeling world is like, Martin. You don't know what they do to me. Especially the men. The men! And you don't think that'll happen elsewhere? The world is a huge place, Ashana. You've been so sheltered, you have no idea. And when you fail, don't expect me to be there to pick up the pieces. But? I've worked too hard to risk throwing it all away for you, naive little fantasy. It's taken me nearly a decade to get this far. I'm not going to let some spoiled little girl get in my way. Martin! I... Go home, Ashana. That was the last time I saw her. It was a stupid quarrel over the whims of a spoiled child. And yet, it haunted me. The look in her eyes as she left. Every time I looked at my work, I saw her face. Two days later, I told the Bayer Foundation that I couldn't continue official reason, lack of funds. And slowly, I began to forget. It can't be. Am I... back? Mannequins for Lost Eden, the first sculpture I ever managed to sell as a graduate fresh out of art school. The pri price barely covered the cost of the materials. A part of the series of sculptures I did called Body Language. I like this one the most. It also happened to be the only one which couldn't sell. I don't know why I still kept that, besides the fact that I can't even, for even give it away. An empty box. I haven't gotten around to bringing it down yet. The sink, an admittedly useful inventory to have in the studio, especially when you aren't dealing when you're dealing with a messy materials like clay. This yep, anyways though. My step ladder came apart last week. I've been using this to reach the top of my taller works in the meantime. It's clunky uh, it's clunky, but it works. Nyx, goddess of the night. This one's a commission from the owner of a themed restaurant. He's pretty well actually. He's paying pretty well actually. Still. My trusty old blue mug. No, I don't. I want to look at it a bit more. When people see this photo, they inevitably think I'm sentimental about my parents. The truth is, my father was a major in the army. He was admitted that his only son should follow in his footsteps. 
I grew up with toy guns, tanks, and helmets. When I was older, he took me hunting, taught me how to set traps and shoot moving targets. When I enrolled myself in art school, he just declared that no sissy art lover was any son of his. Then I cut off all contact with him. Mom was upset, but she defended, but she deferred to my father, as always. Now I keep this picture on my desk as a constant reminder why I have to succeed. Photos of Ashana that I took in my studio. I must have taken hundreds of them. I don't know where they all are now, except for these here. All the usual clutter on my desk is gone, replaced with my plans for the Bayer project. Sigh. I'm not really in my studio then. Well, it was too good to be true. Okay, let's feel around some. Actually, first, let's first talk to Vane's. I've been known to sigh degenerately into my coffee mug, but not actually talk out loud into it. Damn you, Dad! I have a few things to say to Inshana, but nothing to say to her picture. No thanks. If she were real, sure. Talk to the sink. It's not worth the effort. I'd love to wax lyrical about my disappointment over this particular piece, but now's not the time. Don't make me talk to the hand. The box is too square to make an interesting conversation. You don't use a ladder by talking into it cooperating. Let's touch some things. The Mariquin is actually made of papier or papier mache, unlike the final product. Anyway, I think I'll leave it there. No, I don't want it with me. Besides, it's a solid lump of clay, a little heavy to carry around. I'd like to feel the texture of the copper, but not enough to take it with me. I don't need to right now. I could bring it over to the windows, but I'd still be unable to get out of them. It's a little big to take with me, even if I wanted to. It's currently empty, sadly. I usually fill it at the coffee place down the street. I have a reason for putting that there, and I'm leaving it there for that same reason. I could take them with me, but for some reason I don't want to. Let's just say I have a really bad feeling about them. I need to roll them up and put them in the tube. I'll just leave them here till I have a concrete reason for taking them. Okay, there's some foreshadowing there. Let's look around some more. I haven't named this one. I mauled it off a homeless man whom I passed every day on my way here. He died two months ago. I thought it was sad that no one would remember him. This is his memory. If I close my eyes, I can just pretend that nothing strange happened, that I've just finished work and I'm about to leave now. Some old posters of various exhibitions from famous sculptures. I wonder if anyone would one day put up a poster with my name in their own studio. I usually prefer to sculpt the female form, but there was a time when I was experimenting with stonework with a classical male torso seemed like the right thing to do, or the thing to do. Okay, that's the door to the hallway. Yeah, I wish I could have said more to him. Could have, should have, would have. Talk to the wall? Yeah, that'll help. The jokes almost write themselves at this point. I don't like the sound of my own voice that much. Let's feel some things. Why should I move it? It's too heavy to move around. They've been there for years already. I'm not likely to need them now. I feel like I can just open the door and go back home. I feel like, let's go then. Now the phone's ringing. The hell? Who would be calling me at this time? It's my phone. Gladly, but who do I call? Hello? Martin. Oh, Gaspy. You know, I was just kind of hoping that you didn't exist. Good to hear from you too, Martin. Where are you? How did you know my number? I let my fingers do the walking. Giaspi! My apologies, that was rather annoying, wasn't it? You could say I am in my own studio right now. I can't be there with you because I am hurrying to finish my work. But I thought I'd pick up the phone and see how you are getting on. Thanks for the thought. I suppose you're going to tell me now that I'm not really in my studio. 
that this is just another stop analysis crazy world. Very good. Looks like you will not need me soon. Damn it, Gillespie! Listen, whatever you do, you cannot leave the way you usually do. You cannot pretend that everything is fine and walk out your door like nothing has happened. Find some other way out. When you do that, she will be waiting. Really? Has she finally run out of ideas? It was all her way of making you experience what she has been through. You've realized who she is, of course. Yes, she's in Shana. Yes, I have. She's someone I used to know. She told me her name was Inshana. I hired her to model for me, but she had a different idea. She thought I, that she and I... She thought that you were in love with her. But you disabused her of that notion soon enough. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean it to be that way. Not like that. Do you know what happened to her after you left her at the dance? I think... She died. She killed someone. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know is such a lame response. But I don't think she killed someone. There was a clue that she killed someone before. But she seemed to... Uh, uh, honestly, I don't know. But there's hints. This is actually a really uh, intelligent question. Because there's hints that she either died or she killed herself. I mean, it's either I'm dead or she's dead. It seems like that is inevitable, that I'm either dead or she's dead, and either I'm going through my own personal hell or she's taking me to her personal hell. Not really a hell, it's not actually that bad, but memories, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to guess. Hmm, yes, perhaps the truth is hard for you to face, but you will have to, you know. She is waiting for you beyond this room. Yeah, somehow I don't think it's just going to open the door and see her outside. No, you are not. Your job is to help me, right? Can't you just tell me how to get out? That's true. I am here to help. But as I have said before, there are restrictions. Do you mean that you will die? Isn't there a way around it? You mean that you said about you dying if you help me directly? Are you afraid of death? <sighs> I know what you're doing, you sly fox. Trying to challenge me? Well, to answer your question, no, it is not death that I fear. If I die, there will be no one to guide you to see your for confrontation with Alice. I can survive on my own. What about a hint? This is ridiculous. I am not a baby, and you don't need to treat me like one. I'm just sick of looking all over the play, all the way out of impossible places. Okay, look, how about a hint? Just a hint won't kill you, right? What little you know. Give it some thought, Martin. When you are ready to play by the rules, pick up the phone. I will be waiting. Hello, Martin. Any progress? No, look. I'm sorry about just now. I was frustrated. No, it was understandable. Are you really unable to find your way out? I... well... yes. I suppose there is no other choice then. Alright, listen carefully. Do you remember where in your studio you were working with Alice? Where are you? Do you mean where I was planning to put the sculpture when we were working on? Yes, precisely. Where I put my largest pieces, right across from my desk. There's a raised platform there. Good. Go there and go through the floor. You said what? The floor, precisely where you were going to put the sculpture. Go through the floor. I realize you might be a being of supernatural power, seeing as you live in this godforsaken place and all. But I'm not, and I can't just sink through solid concrete floors. You have arms, though, and you can push through in liquid, can't you? Liquid? Just trust me. Go and try pushing on the floor there. And Martin? Yeah, what is it? Keep your eyes open. What? Goodbye, Martin. Hello? Gaspy? Gaspy! Gaspy! Okay, do I need this? Okay, I have an idea when you do. I could bring it over, but okay. Push down on the floor? Hey, what's going on?
Some kind of tunnel or cave. Well, at least there's the light on the, the end of it. Hope that doesn't just lead to another long, dark tunnel. Behind me? The tunnel seems to stretch out forever in that direction. I'm going to save because I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, no, actually. I'm going to get Aesthetic Gamer 3. I'm going to keep on going this direction to see what happens. This is ridiculous. I'm exhausted. I'm clearly not going to be able to go this way. I better turn around. Uh, I know this is going to probably lead to bad things. Let's see, Does he say anything else in all this? This is ridiculous. Okay, let's see what happens if we keep on going this direction, though. It does get bigger. Anything new to say? I'm just going into the darkness. Nope, that's not leading me anywhere. Okay. Just two more times and I'm done. And I do it four times, of course. Alright, let's go. This town is longer than it looks. I feel like I'm being watched. And if you notice, it looks like there's hands or something coming out of the walls. At least I'm seeing hands, like there and there and there. Something's not right. Okay, let's turn around. I think I'm going to have to redo it then. Oh, something's not right. Gaspy? Gaspy! Damn it, Gaspy, wake up! Gaspy! Whatever he's going to be on his name. It looks like he was stabbed several times with a small object. The wounds are tiny, but there's blood everywhere. She stabbed him with one of his woodworking tools. And she was arrogant enough to leave it there. Is this the bag Gaspy was talking about? It's full of animal traps. Is he expecting me to use them on the shenanigans now? Or is there something else I should be expecting? There's a table along, along one wall with some kind of toy on it. There's a bag of chess pieces with its contents sprung about. What did Gatsby have in mind? Gatsby must have been working on this when he was attacked. Looks like it was meant to be some kind of toy. There are two figurines at either end of the room, with tracks carved into the floor between them and chess pieces scattered about. The red figure looks like it fits into the tracks. I think there was supposed to be some kind of mechanism to move it around. Read the walls first. She scribbled on the walls. No, don't touch me. Where are you? Leave me alone. Don't look at me. Go away. No, turn off. Daddy, mummy. Okay. Was she dad? Was he daddy Gillespie? Don't touch me. Uh, she scribbled on the walls. Yep. Anyways, let's start talking to things. He's dodged his last question from me. I don't feel like speaking out loud in this place. I don't... Okay. Anyways, let's uh, first feel some things. I won't be able to drag this whole bat lot along with me. I can just take maybe four at the most. I've taken one of the traps. I've taken another trap. Can't carry much more. Let me go over here then first. I don't know where the chess pieces are supposed to go. I can't slot. I can slot just about anywhere on the tracks, but that's about it. Doesn't seem to do anything else. It's not finished. There's nothing much I can do with the mechanism. I don't know where the chess pieces are supposed to go. All the king's horses and all the king's men. I don't feel like speaking out loud in this place. OK. 
Okay, let's see. How about under the table? There's nothing to say about the table. Now I've got three of them. I can take maybe one more. Four is the most I can take. Can't carry them for long, though. These things are heavy. Okay, what's over here? He's not mentioning any of this. I guess it's just that way or this way. The curtain he doesn't seem to want to interact with, though. Actually, he will. The page is incomplete. If I had the scraps to complete the puzzle... Let's look around first. Oh. Why, hello there. What is that thing? The page of my sketchbook. The page of my sketchbook. I have an idea. There we go. Lay the traps there. Here we go. Let's look around a little bit more. Try and get around these things. Oh, I, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Oh, hello there, handsome. Death is a debt we all must pay. Kerpolis, try again. Uh, let's see. I'm full of traps, right? Okay, what's this way then? This is ridiculous. I'm exhausted. Oh, oh, it's the way I came out. Okay. That means we have to go back, and here we go, back in here. Any more of these bags I can grab? Can't carry any more. Wait. This. This is like the room where... One, yeah, this is like the room that I'm about to enter into. There has to be a clue here, then, because that's the red figure is the thing coming towards me. Okay. So, maybe where the chess pieces are lying are clues. I hope so, at least. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure this puzzle out. Start putting some traps down. Trap there. Trap there. So he goes there first. Then he goes there. Uh, okay, let's. No, let's take the trap out again. Okay. Trap there. There should be a trap. So yeah, he was there. Oh, there we go. He took one. Oh, I can't do anything. He's dead. Okay, well, I have an idea of what to do now. I just need to watch where he goes. Okay, he first goes there. One of the slots he stops at is there. He will go there. Don't know the other place, though. See, uh, this probably will not work too well. I have a bad feeling I messed this up already. I've already placed my traps down, though. So this better work. Now he's formulating a different strategy around my traps. I see, I need to think about the right places to put these traps and they're able to ensnare him. Because now he has a free way out. He's about to come and get me, so... Fun times! Try again. It's like chess, except I'm using traps to catch the piece. Okay. So we have a little amount of time to do this. Trap. 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 I have probably wasted... God... How are you supposed to outsmart this thing? It's like a pawn in chess, but I don't know how I'm supposed to pass it. Oh, well, for one of my traps, at least. But I can't stop the rest of it. I need to be smarter with how I put down my pieces. Okay, yeah, I'm boned this time. So, here we go. This thing goes all blah, 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 blah. Try again, then. Try again, again. Now, uh, we have uh, we have pieces. You make the first move. I'll make a move after you make a move. 
you come in here. Let's play a game. That's the point of this. So, a trap can go there. Or I can go there, if you really want me to waste my pieces already. Okay, we can go there too. How about a piece there? Will that work? There we go, defeated it. Finally. Okay, yes, the gamer. I will save it that one. Sure, is save. Yes. Uh, I can't finally look at look and take these pieces. The pages from my notebook. The pages are complete. Uh, let's see. In my inventory, I've got a scrap piece still. Okay. Still not complete. One more piece. I did put my piece in there though. Okay. Do I go forward? Is that really what I have to do? Okay, let's go forward one more space then. I need more traps though. It looks almost like a prison cell. Nah, I'm not going back in there for now. Oh, okay. I think I know the solution to this. First, he has nothing to say about it. But I think I know. One, zero, one, one. It's unlocked. You think I would have forgotten about that? That was the only four-digit number in the whole entire game. It was towards the beginning, so they were probably thinking, you will know what it is. They won't remember, but I remembered. Okay. I can see the ropes hanging from the ceiling in the room beyond the iron gate, so this is where I saw earlier. So in terms of navigating this weird area, I can kind of see how we went in a loop there. Let's go. Or talk to it. Nope, nothing to say. Got it. So this is the room in the photograph. Why does she want me here to hang you? What the? Not again! It's coming into focus. And blurring. Oh, hell. The hell? I'm seriously screwed this time. Save it. I've got to get out of this first. It's no use. There's not enough slack that I can move a bit, but I'm definitely not going anywhere. Any direction I go. Hotel room. I don't care if the truth hurts. I want to straight up honest with her right now. Okay, so I got nothing else in my diary. What's that? Oh, something's coming. Oh, hi, Alice. Oh, hey there, Alice. What's up with you? I've been having one crazy night, you see. Oh, Ashana. Or is it Alice? I can't quite tell anymore. It's... It's Ashana! Really? You make such a big deal of letting me know your real name. So, you finally decided to show yourself, huh? I'm just gonna use this voice. Is that all you have to say after all this time? You haven't changed, Martin. Well, let's see. You've just dragged me through everything I was trying to forget. You've trapped me in a room after room and made me jump through hoops to get out of each one. And you killed the only person who was trying to help me in your twisted little world. No, you killed him, and it isn't the first time you've killed before, so I guess you're used to it by now. What the hell are you talking about? Men like you are always the same. You, are, you never take responsibility for your actions. You only care about yourself, your survival, and your achievements. Everyone and everything else is collateral damage. I've known so many people like you. Each one claiming to feel, each one pretending to be a human being. But each one a monster inside. You're crazy. Am I? Is it crazy to seek love where it doesn't exist? Is it? If it is, then yes, I'm crazy. No, you're crazy for revenge. You're no better than me. 
You brought me into your own inner world for no other reason than tell me how horrible your life has been and how badly it's treated you. And why has it treated me badly? It's because of people like you. People who used me. People who were kind to me, who showed me a mockery of love. Just so that I could become putty in their hands, to be used, to be molded into whatever they wanted. Eshana. My agents, the press, the photographers, the audience, the employers. All of them cared as much about me as they did for any commodity. Something to be bought and sold. To be used and thrown away without a second thought. But I don't hate them. No, they were only doing their job. The ones I hate most of all are the ones who pretended to love me so that I would cooperate with them, willingly, like a dog. You and Robert and my mother, you were the most despicable of all. She looks exactly like she did when she left me that night. I wouldn't be able to get it far if I tried to attack her with my bare hands right now. It wasn't attacking I was actually thinking of. I loved you. I don't know what you're talking about. He didn't love her, so I'm not going to lie to her. He doesn't seem like he ever he can really care about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You haven't changed at all. Well, you want me to tell you I love you? You know, I shouldn't be surprised at all, but to be honest, I am. I mean, you're not exactly in a position of power over me right now, but look at you. Arrogant to the end. You disgust me, Martin. Now hold on a minute. I never asked for any of this either, you know. I know you've been hurt. I don't really understand all of it, but I know I rejected you that night. You're mad about it. I know. I'm sorry. But Ishana, you must have known that people can't force themselves to fall in love. Then why did you lead me on? I don't know. Maybe I thought we could... Look, Ishana, I'm sorry. Give me a chance. What do you want? Okay, I guess we're talking still. You still don't believe me? Is that all the proof you've got? Oh. Oh, we're supposed to show her proof. Doesn't seem like she really wants that. Here, take this. What for? I was the one who sent it to you. <laughs> Here, I don't need this anymore. That's not helping your case, Martin. Okay, uh, sketchbook. Your diary. Here, take this. It's my sketchbook. No, I don't want your drawings. I've already taken what I wanted from it. I could have taken it from you any time I wanted if I really needed it. Your diary. <laughs> Here, I thought you might want this back. Where did you get that? I found it in your bedroom behind your pink teddy bear. Well, thank you. That meant a lot to me. Did you leave these photos for me to find? Who else would it be? It certainly wasn't your friend Giespi. But Meg was right about you after all, it seems. Well, she should be feeling smug right about now. I know you hated him, as if you care. I know you hated him, as if you care. Uh... I just want you to have this. What's this? It's my journal. And what? I'm supposed to be impressed by this? I write everything in there. Read it, you'll know how I really feel. You know, I didn't think you could get any more any more pathetic than I thought you already were. Congratulations. This is a bill from the interior decorator. Your mother was trying to improve your lives, but she wasn't rich. She was a single mother trying to get by. She lived her life for you. Enough! I don't need you to lecture me about my own mother. You don't know anything about her. She was a model too, but she failed. She was too plain, they said. So she married my father because he was handsome. She got married just so that she could have a pretty child that she could live through. I would never had a chance at my own life. And if that wasn't enough, there was Robert too. I finally thought I'd found someone who would love me for who I am. He said I was his muse and that, his, he, and that he worshipped me. He said he could never paint again without me, and I actually believed him. Do you know we lived together for six months and every day he would paint and I would watch him? But in the mid end he got sick of me, of course, and so he destroyed his life's work. Would you blame me? But then you didn't know him. He was so narcissistic he never knew what was happening around him. 
He even put a huge painting of himself right above the fireplace so he could look at. He was the only person he ever, ever worshipped, and I was just his tool to boost his ego. Okay, yeah, you're right. This guy was pretty self-centered. But you know, to put your heart and soul into a creation is to make yourself vulnerable. I didn't know him, but he made himself vulnerable to you by laying you into his life and work. Hmm, as if you know anything about resembling empathy. He was so wrapped up in his own self that I don't think he even knew what I had done. I know you used to hide from your mother, and much good that knowledge is doing you now. She's being kind of a bitch to me. I don't have much else in my thing. Okay, let's click on this one then. Looks like you were pretty famous for a while. So it's safe to say the public loved you. They helped to kill me. I was putting on display for them, and for a while they said, Oh, a new pretty thing! But they then stopped caring and abandoned me to the agents, the publicists, the photographers, artists, people like you. You devoured me. Oh, well, I'm... okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Ashana. And then there was you. Me? You were the worst of them all. How was I the worst? You were the best actor. It's true, you never actually said you loved me. But everyone, every glance, every word you said was designed to make me your slave. And I was willing to do anything for you. I swear you're crazy, Ashana. I never thought of anything like that. You just wanted to use me to further your career. You were frustrated that you never got the recognition that you thought you deserved. The project, that was, that, uh, the project we were working on was going to be the one that finally brought you fame and fortune. And I was going to be one of your tools, like your armrits or your clay. Just something to be used and thrown away. I didn't... I didn't mean it that way, Ashana. Sure you didn't. No, I'm serious. I had no idea. You didn't know? I'm sorry, Ashana. I know words can't heal everything. You're right, they can't. I've been alone and so, so afraid. You have no idea how lonely I've felt since that night. Martin, stay with me. What do you mean? Stay with me. Don't leave me again, Martin. Uh, how about this? Oh! Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that! I did not mean to do that! Oh, that was a mistake on my part. Sorry, sorry. I, uh, 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 that was a mistake. Uh. What, what did I do? Oh, she killed me. I wasn't trying to do that, I can promise you that much. And I was grabbed by chains, and, uh... Pained like a doll, and we both died together. That's kind of tragic. Uh, that was a mistake. The Marinette. A production by Team Effing. I'm going to see if I can get the other ending, because I think I should have just talked to her then, but I was just seeing what everything did. So, <laughs> that led to my death, because I didn't know what I was going to do with that. I meant to show it to her, not to cut her throat. Still, it's a very interesting game. Very artistic. And as the aesthetic gamer, I have appreciation for things like this. So, there you go. However, though, I'm going to see if I can try one more time to work things out with her. And I'll tell you guys if it gets anywhere from there. Until then, I guess we'll watch the credits. So, yeah. Musical on this game. Is this an original soundtrack or is this like from something? Because if it's an original soundtrack, I am very impressed with it. And thank you for playing. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get another ending. I felt like I could have stayed with her instead of cutting her throat. I'm pretty sure is that the destined events of what has to happen. Anyways, catch you guys back to see if I get a better ending.